Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video, Jack Sensei here. So if you've ever traveled or worked here in Japan, chances are you've been to a convenience. Convenience is just a convenience store here in Japan. Uh, we have three big ones that are scattered all over the place. We have 7-Eleven, we have Lawson, and we have Family Mart. So today, we are going to look at one of the things that they all have in all three convenience, and that is an onigiri. Onigiri is just a very typical Japanese food. It is a rice ball. It's wrapped in seaweed. And today, we're going to try the tuna mayo onigiri at 7-Eleven, Family Mart, and Lost. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, here we are. We have our kombini here. This one is from Lawson. This is from 7-Eleven, and this is for, from Family Mart. Now, initial impression, the Lawson one, pretty light. Uh, it's not that heavy. 7-Eleven, um, it goes to the medium size. It's a little bit heavier. I wonder if there's some 5.2 grams. This. Alright, so, um, this is the Lawson one. The Lawson one is 3.3 grams. The 7 Eleven one is 4.9 grams. I might be reading that wrong. And the Family Mart is 8 grams. So the Family Mart initial impression is the heaviest one. So what do you say? Let's cut these bad boys open. So if you guys don't know, there's special instructions here on how to open this. Before I used to be just like a rabid animal and I would just like take it off from here and stuff. It's crazy. But the, if you look at the instructions, you're supposed to just peel it off on the top, which is right here, number one, right? And then you're just supposed to pull it down, like so, and then you're just supposed to take off the sides. And there you go. It's wrapped in seaweed. Look at that. Still crunchy. So let's cut this bad boy open. It seems like I have a dull knife. And here we go. Look at that. Seems like there's a lot of um, mayo in there. There's a lot of meat in there. Alright. Try this bad boy up. Itadakimasu. I did wash my hands before this, by the way. We go to the 24th minute. Let's spin this thing forward off the slide. Union mm, the rice is good. Cross it in the box. Typical sticky rice. Fun for the review. Seems like there's just mayo. There's that much mayo. After one bite. So, more rice than mayo, but it's to be expected. It's, um... It's a rice ball, not tuna rice or whatever. Tuna mayo. So, initial impressions for Lawson. Thumbs up. Alright, here we go. Same same instruction for the 7-Eleven onigiri. Alright, here we go. Pop this bad boy open up. Up like this. And pop out the sides. About the side. Get all that mess out there. Look at that. Alright. There is the 7 Eleven Tuna Mayo 
onigiri. Let's cut this bad boy up. Should have sharpened that knife. Wow. So from the get go, it's a lot of rice, a lot of tuna. It seems. It is slightly more heavier than the the Lawson one. So let's try the Seven Eleven onigiri. Itadakimasu. Sorry. Hmm. Look at that bursting from tuna. It's crazy, right? Just bursting from tuna. The rice is a little bit dry, but it's not bad. Jack Sensei gives that one thumbs up. And here we go, the heftiest one of them all, the Family Mart Rice Bowl Onigiri. Bad boy up. From here. From here. Side. Side. Put that out. Move those out of the way. And here it is. The loss, the family mark. I'm losing track of my onigiris here. Hmm, look at that. All right. You know, I, you might be worried about cross contamination, but the thing is, they're all tuna mayo, so they're technically all the same stuff, right? Let's break this bad boy open up. Ah, look at that. The heftiest one of them all doesn't seem like it has a lot of tuna, right? Very disappointing, Family Mart. All right, let's try this bad boy out. Itadakimasu. Hmm. The rice is delicious. Like, I would have to say, Family Mart has the best rice out of all the tuna mayos that I've tried. The tuna isn't that bad. It's not as creamy as the 7-Eleven one. So, I would definitely give it a two thumbs up for the Family Mart Onigiri. It doesn't have a lot of tuna on it, meat on it, but I would have to say that the rice is just absolutely delicious. The Lawson rice was was very nice. It has sticky, um, sticky rice thing going on. It's very nice. It's not a lot of tuna in there though. Seven uh, Eleven, meanwhile, has a lot of tuna, but the rice isn't as good. However, if I'm looking for like a really great balance, I would have to say I wouldn't mind getting more of the. Family Mart. Anyways, let me know down below. Send me a comment letting me know what kind of rice bowl do you like here in uh, Japan's uh, convenience stores or conveni. Let me know what your favorite conveni is. Um, personally, we'll do a whole series about that if, if I get a chance to. But, yeah, so. We tried all the tuna, mayo, and onigiris in uh, the convenies, and I would have to say, if Family Mart wins the tuna, mayo, onigiri challenge, 
uh, has a nice uh, rice, better rice than all the rest. The, the There's not a lot of meat in there, but really, you just want a good rice consistency because it is a rice bowl. The rice is fantastic on the Family Mart. So I would have to say Family Mart, 7-Eleven, Lawson. Alright, thanks for watching. Send me a comment down below, below <laughs> letting me know what your favorite kombini is and what is your favorite thing out of all the three kombinis that they have. A lot of them have similarities and all that stuff from, you know, uh, hot foods, snacks, and all that stuff. So let me know what is your favorite thing about all the kombinis here in Japan. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right here. Hit that like button right there. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Peace.